Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about a very interesting concept that we have in Citrix, which is called remote PC access. I'm not sure if you have heard about this. It's uh, it's called remote. Okay. PC access. So what remote PC access does is, uh, let's say if there is a user who, who has a physical computer in the office and all the applications are installed on this uh, particular physical desktop in the office and the user is working from home and uh, for whatever reason he doesn't want to go to the office. So he is at home and he wants to connect to his uh, office desktop. So using remote PC access, what user can do is user can connect to this particular desktop setting from home. He can through the Citrix user can access this remote PC desktop without any issues. So whatever applications uh, user has installed on this machine, so he would get the complete access to the uh, he would get complete access to this machine sitting remotely. So uh, there are few things that uh, we have to make sure uh, when we are configuring remote PC access. So basically remote PC access is configured while creating a catalog. So if you have seen the studio console while creating the catalog, you get uh, a few options you want to uh, you know, you want to create server OS or you want to create a remote PC access. So there you have to select remote PC access and once you select remote PC access when once you click next it would ask like what are the desktops you want to select. So you can uh, select the uh, physical desktops there uh, that that are shown in the uh, studio. So but there is one prerequisite in order to uh, make this work you need to install Citrix VDA or virtual delivery agent or desktop agent on the physical machine so in your office physical machine you need to install this VDA agent so that you can connect it through the Citrix and work remotely okay and uh, also when you are accessing this remote PC access since you are connecting from home uh, you have to make sure that this uh, remote PC, this uh, desktop is turned on all the time. Okay, so if it is turned off for whatever reason, if there is a power issue or something, then users, you know, would, would not be able to connect to this uh, uh, remote PC. So one thing that you have to make sure is this remote PC has to be turned on all the time. So if you have, if you can set some group policies or something, that can help to automatically power on the machine if it goes to uh, you know uh, some power down state uh, for whatever reason you can if you can automatically bring up this uh, desktop back to the power on state then uh, you know it would be uh, really helpful for the users to uh, connect to this remote pc access okay so yeah this is what i would like to uh, share in this uh, particular video so I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you.